So I think a really good place to start, and I always love hearing this because you're not a trainer, you're, you're an entrepreneur that loves training. Um, and I, I want, I love asking entrepreneurs how they got started. So where do you think you got that love, whether it be for basketball or entrepreneurship and business and just building your own thing? Um, so where did well, that come from and how did that begin going towards what you have now? Um, starting off, you know, like my father has always been an entrepreneur and I, I know I gained I grew, that like quality or characteristic definitely came from him. Um, you know, in recycling company, concrete company, uh, and the trucking company that all worked together and they're all centered around his passion, which were trucks. And, uh, you know, for me growing up, I, I saw that how passionate he was with, with his work and how he was able to make and turn a profit on the things that he loved. So when I first got my bout with, with entrepreneurship, um, I was in seventh grade and I was really into, it was like 50 cent era. And your boy thought that I was the coolest dude ever. I'd have like <laughs> buy these, buy these fake diamond watches and bracelets on eBay, and then I'd upsell them to my little Christian school friends in middle school, because it was like I was riding this fad, but also doing something that I loved. Like I was all about it, man. Like you would not be able to recognize me then as of now, but like it was just a way for me to kind of take something that I was extremely passionate in be able to make money off of it because I always had that mindset of like, okay, rather than just being okay or fine with loving this thing that I'm doing, let's try to make it a, a way to support this lifestyle. Like let me find a way to piggyback off of that and turn a profit. So um, that carried over into high school. Uh, in high school, I would sell shoes. I would sell, still sell the watches. And then um, I'd move into like when I got to college uh, fixed gear bicycles were like a thing. And as you as a New Yorker, I'm sure you know what a fixie is. Uh, those messengers that are cruising around, like that was became a huge fad in California. So I learned everything that it was, you know, what it was about fixed gear bikes. I was riding, driving them all around campus and I started slanging those. I was turning a, a really good profit while playing collegiate basketball. So I've always had this knack of like taking something that I'm extremely passionate for and then making not necessarily a career out of it, but making some side money and a good uh, way to support that lifestyle. Uh, I honestly didn't see that as being like the means of me creating my career path because when we were crap, when I was in high school, there weren't like this, like if you were a basketball trainer, that wasn't your full-time gig. Like you had, it right. was a part-time gig and you had multiple other, you know, streams of income, you know, or you did multiple things. But as I started getting to college, like I saw basketball as like, you know, giving me an opportunity to play professionally, but nothing more than that. And it wasn't until I got done playing professionally, when I came back, I was working for a, a loan shark and we were acquiring properties. And, you know, it was just something like for the first time in my life, I was making money doing something that I didn't like, like I wasn't about. And, and I noticed like, well, previously like my endeavors like business endeavors like I would always see you know great ROI and you know like this it was just something that was just stagnant and during that time I had, had a couple of clients that I was training basketball um, like younger clients that I was doing just for side money but I was really finding my voice and, and figuring out how much I, I love to teach and then you know while two turned to four four turned to mm -hmm. eight eight turned to 16 I started realizing that okay I'm now making more training than I am uh, playing or than, than I am doing my other job. Like this is an opportunity for me to continue. And I bet my, you enjoyed it a lot more too. Yo, so much more. Although they're doing it in Southern California might be, is a little different because you work with some very pretentious little snot nosed kids. I love them. <laughs> hey, if any of you guys are listening, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> but it was just one of those things like it was, it was, it was me able to kind of live and create a career path for myself after the values and things that I'd been doing years prior. So um, that's how my entrepreneurial, you know, mindset and how my career kind of came to be. I love it, man. 